All right, time for a couple more questions. Let's go to Cheryl Stolberg at the New York Times. Thanks for um, taking this question. It's for Jeff and for Dr. Fauci. Um, Senators Murray and Burr have proposed a legislation that would create a task force to examine the initial emergence of the coronavirus and also assess the United States response across both the Trump and Biden administrations. Um, it would be appointed by Congress, not by the White House. And I'm wondering to Jeff, is this something that the president supports? And for Dr. Fauci, do you think it's necessary to conduct an inquiry into the origins of the virus? Well, Cheryl, thanks for the, the question. I'd start with, you know, we share the senator's focus. A lot of the bill um, is about building stronger public health systems. And we appreciate the bipartisan goals to ensure the country's better prepared uh, for outbreaks uh, in the future like COVID. Right now, as we've been talking about, our, our you know, focus is 100% on fighting Omicron and COVID. And while cases are coming down, the hospitalizations, as we discussed, are, are, are still quite high. Um, and across time, uh, we do look forward to engaging with Congress and reviewing lessons learned from this pandemic uh, so I think that uh, right now our focus is on Omicron, uh, but we appreciate the, the work the senators have done and look forward to working with them. Dr. Fauci. Yeah, Cheryl, I think it's important to look at every aspect of this outbreak for lessons learned. That is not only what the origin of the virus and the origin of the outbreak is, but many other things that we could learn from in the future so that we can prevent something like this happening or respond better if and when it does. One of those is understanding what the origin of the virus is. And it's very important. For example, studies were done with the first SARS-CoV-1 that we experienced in 2002 and 2003. And there was a mystery about how that happened. And then finally, after a lot of studies that actually took years to finally show that the origin was from a bat to an intermediate host to a human, very likely, in a wet market type situation. That was very important because that led to things that unfortunately were not followed, namely a better control and regulation of the wild animal trade and the interface between humans and animals. The other one was mares, in which it was shown finally that this was a bat reservoir that very likely infected camels and camels to human. That also provides public health guidelines for the interaction of an animal-human interface. So it would be obviously important to be able to determine how this went from what was very likely an animal reservoir, given the similarity with bat viruses, how that happened to go into humans to lead to this outbreak. Understanding that will help us to prepare for any future outbreak as well as prepare for a response. So I'm definitely in favor of that. Kevin. Last question. Let's go to Peter Sullivan, the Hill. Hi, thanks. Um, there's a group of Democrats in Congress have called for $17 billion in the next appropriations package for global vaccinations and other aspects of the global response. I'm, I'm wondering if the White House supports that, and are you planning to, you know, ask Congress for that in the next package? Thanks. So we have um, what we need in this current fight against Omicron, uh, and we've done a lot to prepare for what's ahead. We have boosters for all Americans. We've secured 20 million doses of the highly effective Pfizer pill. We've expanded supplies and stockpiles of PPE, including masks and gloves. Uh, so while we have enough money, enough funding uh, for the current immediate needs, we need to continue, as we've talked about, to stay ahead of the virus. And we are looking at a future where we will likely need funding for treatments and pills. We'll need funding to uh, continue to expand testing and to continue to lead the effort uh, as we've done with 1.2 billion doses donated to the world, but to continue to lead that effort to vaccinate the, wo the world. So we will be working with Congress as needed to make sure we have the funding to continue to fight this virus. 
want to uh, thank everybody for the questions and look forward to the next briefing.